we'll be making what you know as turmeric shots but we'll make it better than what you find in the grocery stores hello everyone my name is Srikant Singh and welcome to our channel happy belly fish this drink is a traditional indonesian drink which is more than a thousand years old and is known locally as jamu kuniyat asam which means the herbal drink made from turmeric quite a mouthful for us who don't speak the language so the nice and forgiving people of indonesia give us this turmeric jamu when we just ask for jamu they know exactly what you're looking for the elixir of life jamu means herbs and in indonesia several jamus are made from different herbs turmeric being just one of them it is a health drink and is becoming quite popular outside indonesia but not knowing how to drink when to drink and when not to drink is going to reverse everything good that it has to offer but we'll talk more about that later let's get to the recipe and the ingredients that you will need so to make this amazing concoction of turmeric jamu i'm taking 200 grams of fresh turmeric 50 grams of fresh ginger 100 grams of tamarind pulp salt and about 100 to 150 grams of jaggery or sugar which is unprocessed If you do not have tamarind then you can use fresh lime or lemon and if you do not have jaggery then you can add some honey or maple syrup but when you do so when you use this alternatives add it to the drink when you are serving them not when you are preparing it so there are a lot of healthy ingredients in this recipe so let me explain what role each of these ingredients play this is a recipe made by healers and not by bartender so there must be a very good reason that they have included each of these but before we go ahead here's a small rhetoric your support is very important for us to provide good quality research based content so please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you know when to come back to our channel again If healthy cooking for you and for your family is on your radar then please also visit our website happybellyfish.com all right now this particular jamu that we are going to make has fresh turmeric as a main ingredient we will not be using dried powdered turmeric in this recipe it can be substituted of course but the taste and the flavor and the texture that you will get is not the same and the texture that you get from dried powdered turmeric is quite unpleasant but if you do not have fresh turmeric at all and there is no chance of finding it then go ahead and use the powdered turmeric we all know turmeric is healing that it has curcumin that magical compound that everyone is talking about and turmeric is known for its anti inflammatory anti microbial anti mutagenic and anti cancer properties its antioxidants fights free radicals helps in cell repair and to grow new ones now that doesn't mean that it will make you look like a 20 year old again it's not going to be the curious case of benjamin button but it may slow down your aging may cure you of many chronic inflammatory diseases and help you age gracefully and in good health which is why i am making this something which is very regular in my life not every day but quite regular the next ingredient is fresh ginger ginger also helps in reducing nausea which may be induced by turmeric in some people especially in this drink where the dosage of turmeric is quite high Now since ginger and turmeric are bitter there is no way anyone can convince you to drink this just as it is just with these two ingredients one of the key focus of any herbal medicine is detoxification by eliminating the waste from the body and tamarind helps with that tamarind contains a lot of essential minerals and now comes the ingredient that can soften the blow and also add some more good stuff to your drink i'm not talking about rum or whiskey here i'm talking about the sweetener and in particular jaggery which is concentrated raw cane sugar juice you will notice that almost all my recipes where i'm wanting to use sweetener i prefer jaggery i do not like this highly processed and full of chemicals white sugar or even what they call as brown sugar that's definitely not healthy jaggery is the choice of sweetener for me and these days it is available even people from north america who think that jaggery is a very indian thing no it is not you will find it in plenty in your neighborhood mexico and they call it panela you can also use other palm sugars like date sugar or coconut sugar jaggery sweetens the jamu and since we are using high concentration of turmeric and ginger there is a chance that it might result in some acidity in your stomach adding jaggery and also some amount of salt can help with that now the recipe is quite simple but for this you have to either get your hands dirty or get some disposable gloves turmeric is going to stain anything especially clothes so make sure you either make this drink naked 
or avoid wearing expensive clothes. If you have chosen the earlier method, then make sure you're not expecting Amazon deliveries and that your neighbors are not mowing the lawn. Jokes apart, make sure you wear an apron. The first thing you need to do is wash the turmeric and ginger nicely. Now take a knife and scrape off the surface. If you do not want to use gloves or do not have them, then you can also do this trick. You can smear some oil in your hand and also smear some oil on the cutting board where you're going to chop the turmeric or peel the turmeric. This will avoid staining to some extent. To prove my point, I've actually taken my gloves off and smeared some oil in my hand and you can see that there is some stain but it is not so significant. One or two washes later, it can go off. Now grate the turmeric coarsely. If you grate them very fine, a lot of juice will be lost. I'm not using a blender here because it will stain your blender forever. Use a blender only if you have jars that's made of stainless steel or glass. Nevertheless, whatever plastic is on the blender, Consider it belongs to turmeric forever, which is why I had learned my lesson and I am telling you this, that do not use a blender if you can. But if you have a blender that is already stained and you do not have any problems with it, then go ahead and just grind it into a coarse paste. Traditionally, this is done in a large modern pestle, which in an urban setup, we do not have. Now grate the ginger. Ginger that you have might be lighter in color and might be milder in taste. If that is the case, then double the amount of ginger that I've given in this recipe. The hardest part of this recipe is actually done, which is actually peeling and grating these two ingredients. And now comes the part where we cook. Take about one and a half liters of water in a pot and add all the ingredients, ginger, turmeric, tamarind, salt, and jaggery. Boil it for about 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat. People think that boiling or cooking turmeric will make it lose all its nice things. This comes from this myth that when you cook foods, then it also loses all the vitamins and minerals, which is actually wrong. The compound curcumin is insoluble in water. So boiling it will increase the bioavailability of curcumin. Now, if you're wondering what bioavailability is, then let me explain in simple terms. The curcumin in turmeric gets metabolized and eliminated by our body before it can be absorbed in beneficial quantities. This is what happens with curcumin supplements because it is a byproduct or actually an extracted compound from turmeric itself and you take it in its singularity it does not get absorbed very well and there are many ways the scientists have figured out that you can increase its bioavailability which is off late like this eating with pepper some amount of piperine along with the curcumin will increase the bioavailability traditionally though in many recipes even where pepper has not been used people have just cooked turmeric or boiled it and they could increase the bioavailability which is why we are going to boil the turmeric along with the other ingredients after about 15 to 20 minutes of boiling on medium heat you will notice that the water has reduced by 20 to 30 percent and the concoction has somewhat thickened so turn off the flame and allow this mixture just to cool down before you can filter it once it is cool then use a stainless steel sieve and strain out the juice I did not throw away the solids. In fact, I boiled another half a liter of water in it and was able to extract some more jamu. This concoction is quite thick. So when you're having it, add some water and fresh lime and it will be even more refreshing. Some people add ice to jamu and have it in large glasses as a refreshment, which is not a bad idea. But if your focus is healing with this drink, then I would not recommend having this drink cold as cold foods affects digestion and causes congestion, traffic jam. It is best to have this drink in small quantities like this, something like a shot or tonic in mornings after food. If you have cold or nasal congestion, you can warm this drink along with some water and have it as a tea. I'm not a medical professional and none of this is a medical advice. I'm sharing what I have researched and read and I've heard from traditional healers and those who use turmeric as folk medicines. Traditional healers in Indonesia have a jamu for every problem. This particular jamu with turmeric is apparently considered very helpful for women who have menstrual pains. This drink is tasty and healthy, but it does not mean that you can replace your coffee with it and get that extra large cup to prolong your joy. Large doses of curcumin can give undesired side effects. I was actually shocked when I saw some videos where people on the internet who were unfamiliar with turmeric were having large tablespoons of turmeric along with warm water and later they complained that they had pimples, they had acid refluxes and that they had diarrhea 
and they thought the diarrhea was a part of detoxing which is wrong turmeric is a warming spice and in india where we eat turmeric every day we do not exceed 2 teaspoons of turmeric in total for a family of 4 for all 3 meals this brings me to an important conclusion on supplements like curcumin capsules since these capsules are easy to take and because they are a herbal supplement people tend to overdose on them thinking that it is herbal so it cannot be harmful but today research has shown that high dosage of curcumin can lead to iron deficiency the oxalates in turmeric can lead to kidney stones it can increase the effects of blood sugar medications which diabetics take and it could lead to hypoglycemia which is why even though turmeric is a healthy herb please do not take it in high supplemental doses do not add 2 inch of turmeric paste to your smoothie every day believing that it will turn you into the next marvel superhero so when you have this drink now take it once in a while at first and also dilute it for the purpose of healing take it warm or at room temperature and avoid taking it with ice so much about turmeric let me know in the comments if you are going to try this recipe this ancient recipe in your kitchen and i will see you soon in the next video